if you were to only buy one pair of running shoes for everything, this would be the pair you should buy. I use these shoes predominantly for tempo type running and my interval runs. I've used them in on treadmills, I've used them outdoor fast runs, I've also used them in outdoor slow runs. I even took them, I went to run a marathon last weekend uh, in Spain. I only took two pairs of shoes with me, one my the shoes I raced the marathon in, a pair of Adidas Prime X. And these and so I use these for walking around the city and they were great and comfortable for that. How do they feel compared to other shoes in the Saucony range? Well in relation to the Endorphin Speed 1s and even the 2s, this just feels to me like a totally different shoe. It's uh, much more stable without losing any of the uh, running enjoyment and speed roll element of them. They almost feel to me like a, a souped up Triumph 19. They've got that comfort that you get with the Triumph. They even look a bit similar to them, but they're significantly lighter, uh, significantly faster turnover with them. The Ride 15s, no comparison compared to those. Just so, these are just so much better. I can't think of a use case for the Ride 15s that these couldn't do that. Convaras and Freedoms, um, these feel like you're getting significantly more cushy. They don't seem to feel any any heavier of a feel to it. At the fast end, are the Endorphin Pros worth adding 200 bucks? I don't know, maybe. Maybe you shave 10 seconds off a 5k run in Endorphin Pros versus these. It's your call whether 200 bucks is worth it for that. So they, for me, replace almost anything I could use in the Saucony range. Perhaps with the exception of the Triumph 19s, like as a recovery shoe, I think the, the Triumph 19s are, are a bit better. They've, got, they've just got that little bit of extra comfort and cushion for maybe the Monday after a long run weekend. So they're now a fixed part of my rotation. I do long runs in Adidas Prime X. I race marathons in Adidas Prime X. I'll do recovery runs in Saucony Triumph 19 and I kind of do anything else in these. But I could do recovery runs in these and I could run a marathon in these. These particular shoes are um, probably the best colorway in my opinion for them. So I really don't like the black, the pink and the white colorways. They come with laces that look kind of cool. They're not the most comfortable laces in the world. Uh, a little bit shorter than I would like as well. So that's my only criticism of the shoes. I've run 18 times in these for a total of 220 kilometers, which is a touch over 135 miles. Nowhere, as you can see in the top, sole looks great. So they've been very durable for me. My average distance that I run in them is about 12 kilometers, about seven and a half miles but I've run as short as 5k and as long as half marathon distance in them. That's how versatile the, the shoes are. I believe you could run a marathon in these shoes. You can read elsewhere the technical details about the shoes, but as you know, there's a little bit of a, a, a wrapping around the side here of the nylon plate. If you start running a little bit off center, you'll feel it. So I know when my uh, when my feet are becoming a bit tired or my gait's a little bit lazy because I just get that little bit of, re of reminder from them. But overall, I, c I can't find anything bad to say about 